This is the story of the last gremlin. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when you hear the chimes ring like this. Let's begin now. Unless you're extremely careful, cute, cuddly mogwai can turn into nasty, destructive gremlins. And that's just what happened one Christmas Eve in Kingston Falls. Hundreds of mischievous gremlins had left the town in ruins. They had broken windows, caused traffic accidents, wrecked the local tavern, and even crashed a snowplow into a house. Billy Peltzer, his girlfriend Kate, and Billy's pet mogwai, Gizmo, had tracked the creatures to the local movie theater, where they had hidden inside from the sun, which could destroy them. With Kate's help, Billy found a way to destroy the theater full of gremlins. But his heart sank when Gizmo frantically gestured across the street. Oh, no! There's Stripe, the nastiest of the bunch, in front of the department store. Stripe stared at the burning theater and then scowled at Billy. Kate shuddered at the vicious look in Stripe's eyes. Look, he's heading into the store. Billy gritted his teeth. I've got to go after him. He's the last gremlin. Billy and Kate raced across the street and climbed through a broken window. They tiptoed into the store. Billy handed his backpack to Kate. You take Gizmo and find the lights. Billy grabbed a baseball bat and squared his shoulders, ready to face the sneaky gremlin. Gizmo whined. Sorry, little guy. I go alone on this one. Kate gently touched his hand. Be careful, Billy. I will. And with that, he crept into the darkness. Slowly, Billy edged his way from aisle to aisle in the dark, straining to hear or see some trace of Stripe. And then, not far from where he stood, Billy heard a buzz. He grasped his bat tighter and carefully moved toward the sound, inching toward the toy department. Suddenly, something attacked his feet. He leaped back. Phew, it's only a toy robot. A playful duck waddled toward him. A tiny soldier tottered in circles. A little train chugged into a wobbly bear. The whole floor was moving with toys, but there was no sign of Stripe. Billy moved on, unaware that Stripe was hiding in the power tool section. Billy rounded the corner and stopped just in time. Out of nowhere came a circular saw blade zooming past him. It dug itself into the wall. <gasps> that was close. Only a second later, out spun another blade. Billy swung fiercely and batted it aside, <gasps> losing his balance and stumbling backward. <clears throat> Stripe cackled, mocking Billy. <laughs> in an instant, Billy picked himself up. Come on out here, Stripe. But Stripe was gone. Billy followed the faint sound of Stripe's high-pitched giggle across the store. But as he entered the TV stereo section, there was only unnerving silence. Billy looked cautiously around. Hundreds of blank TVs stared back at him. Nothing moved. Suddenly, a television flashed on. Stripe's face snarled at Billy in a giant close-up. Billy angrily smashed the screen with his back. <laughs> You might as well show yourself, Stripe. You can't hide behind a video camera forever. More TVs came to life. Everywhere Billy turned, he saw Stripe's leering grin. I'm sick of playing hide and seek, Stripe. The gremlin gave one last cackle into the camera and disappeared. But this time, Billy spotted him as he scurried off. Billy raced into the main aisle and stopped. Suddenly, Stripe zoomed in front of him on a tricycle, tripping him. Oh. The jeering gremlin tore off into sporting goods with Billy not far behind. Stripe quickly grabbed a crossbow. He turned and fired. Ducking, Billy threw himself painfully to the ground. Oh. Stripe wasted no time loading a second arrow. Billy lay hurt on the floor as Stripe stalked menacingly towards him. 